guys doing and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Tino if this is your first time on my channel I want to welcome you to the family so what I may mainly do on my channel is I do a lot of uh, beauty videos uh, perfume uh, a lot of makeup tutorials and uh, lifestyle videos I'm gonna start incorporating a lot of lifestyle videos in my channel so if you are new to my channel and this interests you go ahead and click that subscribe button and don't forget to thumbs up this video and share with your friends it helps me a lot the algor algorithms of YouTube now is if no one is liking your video you don't get viewed so please just do me a favor and support your girl and give it a thumbs up so today I'm going to tell you guys about my second love you all know my first love is makeup beauty products skincare and whatnot my second love happens to be perfumes. So today we're going to be talking about my favorite top 10 spring perfumes that I've been really wearing for this uh, spring. And then uh, very soon we're hitting summer. So I will be letting you know uh, what I love for summer as well. In no or particular order, I'm just going to grab a fragrance and go with it. One of my favorite perfumes happens to be Chanel Chance Eau de Parfume. This is my second purchase of this perfume. This perfume smells amazing. Like, I feel like you can't go wrong with a Chance by Chanel. Um, I know they have the Eau Frage and the Eau Tundra. I think all of them are spectacular, but this is the classic original OG. I love this. On Fragrantica, this has notes of pink pepper as a top note, jasmine iris in the middle notes, and patchouli mugs and vanilla. Very, very simple notes, but spectacular scent. Smells really, really good. Very, very, very spring. And it lasts quite a bit. It lasts on me at least a good eight hours. This is very, 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 very nice. It's, I think no one can dislike this perfume. That's probably why it gets so much hype. Now, some people don't like niche perfumes, but they love designer perfumes like this. Another perfume that I recently hopped on that I actually, <laughs> I love this perfume is the BDK perfume. This is Tuberose Imperio really really awesome uh awesome awesome perfume if you don't like tuberose you're not gonna like this perfume it's amazing i love tuberose it has that bubble gummy smell mm. and um it's so such an appealing scent it's not too out there on fragrantica the top notes on this is geranium rose bay willow herb i've never heard of that before uh indian tuberose is in the middle notes with ylang ylang, jasmine sandback, Egyptian jasmine, and iris. And then you have the bottom notes are going to be Madagascar vanilla, benzoid, uh, sandalwood, cashmere, Singapore patchouli, incense, and cypress. Mm, let me spray this here. Ah, uh, it's just inviting. I can get the incense. I get the incense straight off the bat. I get the tuberose and um, the, I don't know what geranium smells like, but I know what patchouli and cypress smells like and iris. I get the powderiness of this fragrance. It smells so inviting and cozy. I could wear this night to day. I think this could be a signature fragrance as well. I feel like you can wear it all year round. It doesn't specifically have a wetter that you can wear this for. Very, very unique fragrance. I would recommend this. If you love tuberose, if you don't like tuberose, um, stay away from it. You're not going to like it. Now the next one, this is for nighttime. If you are going out on a date and you want to smell extra special and smell edible, this is your friend. This is the Jean-Paul Gaultier Essence de Parfum. Very amazing, amazing. I love the juice color. I'm so addicted to perfumes with juice. I don't know. There's something special about the juice of a perfume that makes that perfume uh, smell even more uh, appealing to me. So this perfume has some really nice notes in there. It has tangerine, ginger, and aldehydes in the top note, orange blossom, jasmine sandback in the middle notes, and then the base notes is whipped cream, vanilla, benzoin, cashmere, and wood, and woody notes. This to me... 
Mm. Sooner or later, this whole room is going to smell like perfume. This smells amazing. That's all I can really say. 100%. If you do not like orange blossom, you will not like this. This is an orange blossom balm. It smells like amazing. Like, it smells delicious. And I can get the notes of the sweet notes of the whipped cream and the vanilla in there. I also get the ginger note that's on here. I don't get much of tangerine. I think the tangerine note is overwhelmed by the orange blossom and the ginger. I love this fragrance a lot. I, I love most of the Jean-Paul Gaultier. I also have the original Classique. I love it. It's amazing. Uh, has that nice rum note really really appealing for spring as well but you know i can only fit 10 perfumes so i'm just sticking with this one it's amazing it's a must-have if you don't have any of your clothes not a perfume that i absolutely uh, absolutely love for spring is draco by tiziani terenzi oh my god guys this hmm i need to spray this on my body mm. Mm, mm, mm. This, I don't even know what to tell you it smells like. It smells good, good, good. When I say good, good. So I'm going to pull up the notes on this one. As you guys can notice the trend, uh, I love anything with vanilla in it. I'm just going to let you know FYI. If you hate vanilla, you're probably not going to like none of these because most of my fragrances have vanilla in it. So this has bergamot, lemon, orange, green notes at the top. Then in the middle notes, you have peach, magnolia, jasmine, cedar, patchouli. And in the base notes, you have mux, pear, vanilla, tonka bean, and heliotrope. Ugh. Mm, I get that fruity, fruity vibe with it. It's not too fruity where it's like cloying. It doesn't feel summery. I feel like you can wear it in the summer too as well. But it is not like a fruit cocktail. It smells really good i get the bergamot and the lemon the peach tiny bit of it i get the cedar and the patchouli of course i'm familiar with patchouli like i have most of my fragrance that have patchouli so i can tell the patchouli note right away because i'm like i i know that smell i've had that smell ingrained in my nose but this fragrance is absolutely divine when i say you know like a quintessential spring fragrance that you can wear and nobody will run away from you and say well this is gonna kill me no this is very appealing in my opinion you know i like niche so some people hate niche perfumes because they kind of have that background of what is this or some of these perfumes do have that animalic feel to it but this is not animalic in any way so this is really awesome. Let me just cut that short. Tiziani Terenzi Draco. Get it. Get your life. The next perfume I'm going to be talking about is from the Kayali line from Hudo Beauty. This is the Kayali uh, Deja Vu White Flower 57. Is it 57? Yes, it is. Amazing. Oh, girl, when they came out with this perfume, I was one of the first people that hopped on it. Uh, it was like gone by the next week it was like out of stock but i got it like one of the first people that got it and reason i loved it i love the notes and it had vanilla in it of course this has nectarine gardenia pear as a top note i love pear in my fragrances i don't understand they it just has that little zing to it this has pear and then it has orange blossom indian jasmine and tuberose in the middle notes for the base notes, you have patchouli, Tahitian, vanilla, cashmere and wood, and sandalwood. Another one of my favorite scents is sandalwood. Love me some sandalwood. Mm, this fragrance reminds me of a vacation that I haven't taken yet. Hopefully in the future. I do want to go to Jamaica, but this one is so appealing. I feel like this is another one of those mass appealing kind of fragrances that I feel like... If you hate this fragrance, then something must be wrong with you. Not saying you can't hate a cater fragrance, but this is just mass appealing in my own. And it's not generic, by the way, but... Mm, very, 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 very nice spring fragrance. I feel like you should get this in your arsenal. Now, I know you guys probably seen this on the tube. Everybody and their mama are always talking about Flora... 
Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. Yes, it's the bomb. And I think what stands out in this fragrance is the uh, cannabis note in it. And it also has mint. Okay, let me go ahead and pull out all these other notes so we can get this popping up in here. So Flora Botanica has uh, mint as a top note. It has rose, carnation, and cannabis as the middle note, and then it has vet vetiver and amber in the base. I will say this is your original version of what spring is. When you come out and you smell those roses and you smell those white florals outside, you that lavender, that smell, I'm not saying there's lavender in this, but this just gives you spring. Like, I'm gonna spray this just so I can get that vibe. Mm. This, I feel nobody can dislike it either. It's just appealing. At first, I didn't know the hype. Look at it. I've only had this for a month. Look at it, the dent. At first, I didn't know the hype in this fragrance. I thought it was overhyped. And I, you know, all these fragrances were blind brought because, you know, COVID and everything. Ain't nobody going out to smell fragrances in Sephora or whatnot. So... I blind bought most of my fragrances and I've been really good with getting the good ones. I think maybe about six of them were horrible. That's 6% or 3% out of my collection that were not good. But this, oh God, so fresh and comforting, very freshy. It's a freshy, but a freshy that lasts. Uh, it lasts long. Let me spray this on my skin. Oof. Mm, 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 mm. yes that cannabis note is what makes this very unique so if you like a freshy that is floral unique you want to get this one it's really really good it's really good as what people say it is now the rest of the other ones are going to be designer because i'm just I do have a lot of niche that I want to share, but I just wanted to keep it more designer because this is what I've been using. This is Givenchy's Hot Couture Eau de Tea Toilette. And let me be honest with you guys. I don't ever buy Eau de Toilettes, but this was heavily raved. I actually have the Eau de Perfume, which I knew, like was using heavily. And when people came out, they said this had a raspberry note to it. It was totally uh, different. That's what they said. And uh, I would love it. And also, they said it lasts long. I mean, I was like, what? An Audity Toilette? Like, this lasts long? I want to see for myself. So I went ahead and got it for a, a, a penny. Like, literally 40 bucks. The notes on the top are bergamot, amalfi, lemon. Middle notes are raspberry, spices, big strawberry, magnolia, rose, tuberose. See that note there? And then the base notes are vetiver, amber, and mux. By the way, I meant to say strawberry was the additional note they added here. The other one has raspberry, but it doesn't have the strawberry. You guys hear my kids in the background? I, there's no way I can film without them talking. So I apologize. Moving on. Hakator, get your life. This Hakator is, if you don't like smokiness, you know how they say uh, the original one smells like cigarettes and and raspberry? <laughs> it kind of smells like that, but I love that smell. I love that smoky vibe of it. Uh, it's kind of, I think, comforting to me. I don't know why. Maybe because I used to be a smoker many, many years ago. I know that's really horrible, but I don't smoke anymore. It's been like four years. Thank God. But this smells... Mmm. I get that smokiness about it that I love. Um, it does last at least a good seven hours on my body. Uh, I believe on clothes it will last even longer, but it is so nice. I wore it one day and I got compliments on it. They were like, someone asked me, what do you have on? It smells so good. And it was this. Um, people loved it a lot. It was really, really nice. Another perfume that I love is Versace Yellow Diamond. I've used quite a bit because this is not a uh, this is not a, a perfume that's been in my collection for long. This perfume, holy cow! I originally 
had the uh, Crystal Noir, the, the black packaging one, and I never got this one. I don't know why I didn't. One day, I smelt a perfume on one person that walked. This was pre-COVID, and I've had my eyes on this. I just never still got it. This was while I was working at Mercer. This lady had yellow diamond on, and they smelled amazing. They walked past me, and I could smell a whiff of this perfume. And I was like, I had to ask, what did you, where did you wear it? And she told me it was yellow, uh, yellow diamond. And I don't know if it was the intense or the original, but I was like, I always wanted this in my collection. Finally got it, and I can see what the appeal was. I love it. It, it is spring friendly like literally i don't think you could wear this in the fall i think it's always spring or summer this smells amazing and really really nice i'm gonna get you the notes for it before i keep rambling you know what with these perfume videos you can ramble all day long like literally uh all day long like <laughs> that's what i'm doing right now um okay so let's go on the top notes are gonna be citron pear neroli bergamot and then the middle notes are orange blossom, freesia, osmantus, jasmine. And then the base notes are guac wood, mux, amber, and benzoin. Really, really amazing. Amazing scent profile. I love, love this a lot. This is an oldie but goodie. This kind of reminds me of my mom. This perfume is one of the reasons why I got it because of my mom. And when I wear this, it reminds me of my time with her before she passed. Yes, I used to be all up in my mom's perfume when I was young. She had Amarage by Givenchy. G G Did I say that right? Oh my God. Givenchy. Girl, get your life. I, I can't pronounce it, please. I am not French. Okay, so I've had this for, it kind of went in my nose. I've had this for a good, uh, I would say 10 years. It's not bad at all. It still smells the same way. I think it even smells better. Mm, it's heavy floral. Yo, I think it's heavy on the yellow florals. Uh, let me pull up the notes on this one. My mom used to be the beast of perfumes. And yeah, it, I was right. It is yellow floral. I'm really getting a hang of these perfumes. So let's get the notes on this. It's a yellow, it's orange blossom in the top. Peach plum neroli. Brazilian rosewood, mandarin orange, and violet. The middle notes are tuberose, mimosa, gardenia, ylang ylang, jasmine, black lotus, locust, carnation, red berries, black currant, cassia, rose, orchid. The base notes are sandalwood, woody notes, vanilla, amber, tonka bean, mux, and cedar. Damn, girl, this is a lot of notes. I didn't know that this had that many notes in it. But it smells good. Good, good. When I say it smells amazing, it smells amazing. Like, literally. And it's super long-lasting. This lasts 12 hours on my skin. I'm not lying to you guys. I will put it on the back of my hand in the morning at 10 p.m. This stuff is still there. Literally. Literally. Yeah, so if you like a yellow floral, heavy yellow floral, you like something that is sweet and powdery and woody and also fruity, with white florals, you're going to love this one. Yes, get it or get your life. Now the last perfume I'm going to talk about is Valentino Donna, born in Roma. I know this perfume has been hyped all over YouTube. Yes, it is. There's a reason to the hype. But I feel like this perfume is unique. Mm. I have the original, the original uh, Valentino Donna. Nothing compared to this one. I think from what I heard is that they reformulated that one and it doesn't smell as it used to. I think I got the reformulated version because it smells absolutely like nothing. It's so light, so watered down. It's just not appealing to me. Now this one, whew, the note that I get in this right off the bat is the pink pepper. It is so really nice. It gives you that fizzy, fizziness about it. It has that little zing to it. I don't understand. It's just weird. And um, 
let me give you the notes. Let's just get onto the notes. We have black currant, pink pepper, bergamot, jasmine sandbag for middle notes with jasmine and jasmine tea. Yeah, I, I was gonna say there's some tea like quality with this. It smells like like a tea kind of fragrance. And then it has bourbon vanilla with cashmere and guac wood in the bottom notes. Amazing. A really, really notes are not too complex, but it does give it that sexy vibe. It gives you that fizziness and that zing. I think it's the bergamot that does that with the pink pepper. It gives you that spiciness to it. I actually love this. And this lasts on me a good time. It lasts me at least eight hours on the skin. On clothes last me all day. I love this so much. I now see what the hype is. I really should have got this a long time ago. Not like just now, like three weeks ago. I should have got this like last year. So that concludes my favorite spring fragrances for right now. If you have any other videos you want, you want to know uh, maybe you want a fragrance collection or you want me to do like my summer fragrances Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know that y'all like your girl to be talking about fragrances Because I'm just now into the game of it. I have a whole slew of fragrances to talk about like if y'all want me to do Something some kind of video let your girl know okay I have all the time in the world for three months. I can bust out these videos for you and get this cracking. So thank you guys so much for your love and support. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you love this video, like I said, thumbs it up. Don't forget to share to your friends. And I will catch you in another video. Bye.